Welcome back to the Weld School channel. This is a follow-up video to the first video I made on the titanium stick welder, the uh, 225. It's a little compact inverter machine, and this thing put out some phenomenal stick welds. I actually ran 332 eighth inch, 532, even a quarter inch rod. Uh, the duty cycle on this thing is actually pretty impressive for the size of it. You can run it off a household 120 volt hookup or a uh, 220 as well. Uh, obviously, a 220 is always going to give you a, a more output, obviously giving you the ability to run some bigger stick rods. So with any constant current machine, you can go ahead and use it as a TIG welder as well. So I'm going to go through the process of using this as a TIG welder. Check it out. That is a power cable adapter, that little copper piece there. That is a power cable adapter. It's only about $10. The other thing that you would need is a whip. So right there you can see I am using a whip with a gas valve. You have to manually open and close that valve. You would hook everything up to DC negative as you would with any TIG welding application. Uh, this is a not going to work for AC, unfortunately. So then you would just plug in your stinger that is on DC negative and hook it to the power cable adapter. And on the back side of that power cable adapter, you would have your argon gas flow through. You can see I just opened the valve on that TIG torch. That's a WP17V for valve. And there's nothing more to it than that. So a couple inexpensive uh, pieces, uh, a little hose extension. I think I probably have like a six foot hose on there. Um, I have the power cable adapter. And then the most expensive part would be the actual TIG torch. Just find some type of air-cooled TIG torch. You're not gonna use water-cooled. Uh, it would be air cooled only and just make sure that you have the capabilities of opening and closing the valve so that way you can get that gas flow going. I ran this thing with a dip method. I ran it uh, with a weave, walk in the cup, uh, steel, stainless. Uh, it, it did everything just fine, just as it would if I just bought a TIG machine. So quite impressive. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that you know, you can just grab a constant current power source and TIG weld with it. And that's exactly what I did here. So this machine, uh, when I did my video, was about $299. I'm not sure uh, where that price is today. Uh, but even if it's up a little bit more than that, it's a pretty inexpensive machine uh, that, you know, home hobbyists uh, could easily pick up and, and start stick and TIG welding in their garage. Uh, that whip is a weld craft so it's probably a 200 250 dollar torch but I, i'd say you could be all in around 500 bucks with uh, the capabilities of both so here's some footage check it out if you like this video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button i always appreciate the uh, feedback and uh, I'll, I'll keep making them thanks for watching